Blaupunk's amplifiers are consistently impressing us in our testing with an incredible cost per watt ratio consistently. And this time we have the Amp 1504 Class AB for channel amplifier that comes in at just $60.99. Blaupunk amplifiers are available online from us at qualitymobilevideo.com or at walmart.com. The German brand name, but Chinese owned, claims that this four channel amplifier puts out 300 watts RMS by four channels at two ohms and 150 watts RMS by four channels at four ohms. Seems like a solid amplifier, but is there a reason why it's so cheap? Stay tuned for our testing in a minute to see its actual performance. Inside the box is a warranty card, instruction manual, hardware, two extra 30 amp fuses, and a four channel amplifier. This four channel amplifier operates in two channel, three channel, and four channel mode. The logo may be a little bit boring, but the design of the Blaupunkt amplifiers is solid. They also seem like they'd last years based on the build quality. Connect your head unit to the amplifier with its low level RCA inputs. If your stereo doesn't have RCA preamp outputs, like most factory head units, use a line output converter to connect the speaker level outputs on your stereo's harness to the input on the amplifier. Use the RCA outputs to connect another amplifier in your system. The front channels have a variable high pass filter. The rear channels have variable high pass filter, low pass filter, and three levels of bass boost, with 0 dB, 6 dB, and 12 dB selections. We recommend four to eight gauge power and ground leads depending on length. Check out our amplifier installation kits online, link in the bio. Now, let's see if this amplifier actually hits what Blaupunkt says it does. The first test we ran was single channel driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz. Blaupunkt rates it 150 watts per channel here. Our audio precision will generate our signal in measured distortion. Our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 80.1 watts RMS. The audio precision read 1% distortion and 17.8 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 71 watts RMS. We got 17.8 volts on the Lumi and we drew 9.6 amps of current. Next, we went to one kilohertz. Our HP picked up 84.5 watts RMS with 1.05% distortion and 18.28 volts. Our AMM1 read 66 watts RMS. We got 18.34 volts on the Lumi and we drew 9.53 amps of current. Then we went to two channels driven, four ohms, one kilohertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 77 watts RMS with 1.03% distortion and 17.4 volts. With our audio precision, we can isolate each channel, left and right, or A and B, to see the differences in distortion and output. Our AMM1 read 60 watts RMS. We got 17.50 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 17.60 amps of current. Next, we went to two ohms, two channels driven, one kilohertz, 14.4 volts. Blaupunk rates it 300 watts per channel here. Our HP picked up 93 watts RMS with 1.06% distortion and 13.5 volts. Our AMM1 read 72 watts RMS. We got 13.57 volts on the Lumi and we drew 26.65 amps of current. Two ohms, two channels driven, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 84.7 watts RMS with 1.07% distortion and 12.9 volts. Our AMM1 read 73 watts RMS. We got 12.95 volts on the Lumi and we drew 26.25 amps of current. Back to two channels driven, 40 hertz, four ohms, 14.4 volts. 
our HP picked up 72.25 watts RMS with 1.02% distortion and 26.2 volts. Our AMM1 read 64 watts RMS. We got 16.96 volts on the Lumi and we drew 17.68 amps of current. Now let's go bridged. 4 ohms, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 174.8 watts RMS with 1.09% distortion and 16.9 volts. Our AMM1 read 158 watts RMS. We got 26.36 volts on the Lumi and we drew 26.92 amps of current. Bridged, 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 180 watts RMS with 1.06% distortion and 26.6 volts. Our AMM1 read 146 watts RMS. We got 26.78 volts on the Lumi and we drew 26.63 amps of current. Four channels driven, four ohms, 40 hertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 55.8 watts RMS with 1.09% distortion and 14.8 volts. Our AMM1 read 50 watts RMS. We got 14.8 volts on the Lumi and we drew 30.7 amps of current. Four channels driven, four ohms, one kilohertz, 14.4 volts. Our HP picked up 61.7 watts RMS with 1% distortion and 15.6 volts. Our AMM1 read 48 watts RMS. We got 15.65 volts on the Lumi and we drew 31.08 amps of current. Our final test was on frequency response. Our plot had a consistent and subtle rise, which then dropped after 10 kilohertz. We measured this test with 30 kilohertz parameters. From 20 to 20,000 hertz, it's within plus minus three dB. Clearly, this isn't the most powerful four channel amplifier out there, but at 60.99, its cost per watt makes it a very affordable source of power for a basic system. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.